lightnings of this wonky rose. I I'm, I may have to rejoin because it's giving me problems. So I'll try to get back. We see you very clearly, by the way. But I, I can't. I can't see you. All I see is myself and a waiting um, circular. Oh, okay. The circle of death. of death. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I just got a note that says my internet connection is unstable. Is that, yeah. the, only thing? Is that the only thing unstable I'm doing? Okay. <laughs> You're hoping that's it, right? <laughs> So this is um, pretty easy. We've done it before, and I love how spectacular it looks. So we're going to take four sheets of origami paper, and I decided to color on um, the outside one, but just for fun, because I had five minutes to kill. So you're going to fold it diagonally. And match the those corners and look what I picked up at binders yesterday a bamboo folder a tongue depressor I, yeah that would work uh, I've got a few of those I covered the tongue depressors with sandpaper oh yeah and I use them for sanding uh, yeah. that's Emery boards but, work quite well too. But emery boards, yeah, I do those too. So I'm just finding the center. Okay, I'm not folding it all the way, but I'm folding it in half and then pinching it at the bottom so that I can find the center. And then I'm going to fold it. It's going to make a hug. It's going to hug itself. I can't help but that's what it looks like to me. Okay, so we're going to do this on all four sheets. I'm trying to remember this hug fold. Show me again. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It does, I know. Um, I don't have a scientific way of saying, oh, it needs to go at this and such angle. It's not, it's not like I don't have a protractor, but... We're not, we're not doing that. So, do it on all four. And just... I could have been more precise. But the truth is, we don't really, we don't use the edges. So I'm just finding the center, doing that hug fold. And I love the way it looked in the dark red, but I'm using light colors because I think it's easier to see in a demo. So I have spent this week weaving and doing macrame in preparation for our class, um, Thursdays and uh, Thursday and Friday. Okay, so this one, I colored the inside. I don't know how much it's gonna show, but I just thought it would be a little variation. Make a new hybrid of roses, right? Jillian, show me again what you colored on the inside. She just got her award, so I'm... I'm oh, so tough. So why did she get the award in? Well, it, she got several. She was distinguished um, student and some kind of scholar and something else. It was very hard to hear, but she got like three or four things. Wow. Yeah. So this is in high school? Uh, she knows. Eighth grade, she's going to high school next year. Oh, boy. Eighth grade was hard. I have one going to high school, one going to college, and one finishing up college next year. Three grades. Man, milestones. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. 
So you just did it from the center out. Yeah, I yeah, oh yeah, don't worry about it. I was just doodling. We'll okay. see if it shows. Okay. But you know how we painted the tissue paper. I thought, oh my gosh, I should. So if we were best friends backyard. We gave her some of our, the volunteers from our car garden. And she let us just dig up some stuff from her yard. I, we didn't take the most amazing amaryllis um, that looked it looked like a visit to Hawaii. This flower, it has, it's huge. And it has white on the bottom and pink on the top. It had like three petals, I mean, five petals, maybe six. But it was gorgeous. That was Have you ever used these um, water soluble? Wax. Yeah, that would be fun. Wax um, oh, 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 yes. What brand is that? It's Artist Law. Oh, oh that's I couldn't me. Find, oh, yeah, I couldn't find um, wax, uh, uh, water soluble crayons. Yeah. But, um, so I got this uh, it looked nice set of colors. So hopefully right. that, that should be a substitute for the crayons. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's the Michael's generic brand. Um, yeah, I know, that's where I got it. I've used those for lots of things. Okay, so I've got my four pieces. Yeah. Now, I'm going to cut the template, and I know I might be jumping ahead a little bit, but oh. so the template, let me get a darker contract. Okay, so I decided to, I'm gonna get more precise about the template. So there's a corner up here and the sides and then this bottom corner right here. Okay, so you want no, to- No, could you put that on there again, please? Please do it again. I know. Okay. Your hands okay. are kind of. Okay. So the template, I'm, I drew the outside of the piece. Whoops. Here. And then uh, I just put a mark right here at the fold and another one at this corner. And the template has to be inside of this. Okay. So we wanted to extend down the side, but still down to like maybe a half inch from the bottom. Could you get that centered on your camera screen there? Yeah, let's see. Oh, so it's go, it goes down quite a way. Okay. So, uh, no. So, let's, there we go. That's better. That's better. Okay, there we go. So, it's, um, okay. Camera does a mirror image. Okay, so. I'm gonna uh, cut it on this kind of line. But I'm gonna fold it to make it, and it's gonna go inside. I know this is gonna be too big. So I'm gonna cut this out. And then 
order to make it even. Okay, so let's see how this fits. I think that's going to work. As long as when I cut, I'm aware of this, these points down here. Okay. That's a strange noise. What is it? I don't know. Somebody have a monster. Oh, you know what? Um, that might be me. Let me put me on mute. That's probably the the blowers out here. I'm gonna put myself on oh. mute. Oh. No, I don't want oh, y'all to okay. listen to that. I'll put myself on mute unless I just chat. Okay. Okay. All right. So when I cut this. I'm going to make sure that I cut off the edges except for the bottom half inch. Okay. So there's always one, man. God, there's always one that just won't cooperate. So I'm just going to cut this guy a little bit closer. Just snip it. OK. So I'm going to cut all these, cut the other three. Does everybody understand how to make a template? Is this what it's supposed to look like? There you go. Right. Yes. I'm loving did, your color. Did my mute get rid of that blower noise for you? Yes, it did. Okay, yeah, thank you, Terry. It was just as growling. That was weird. Julian? Yes, Patty. So this this thing, I just have to cut down in these that didn't get cut, right? I would, I would fold it back up and cut the edges again. Oh, uh, OK. Yeah, just cut the edges. OK. Because it's round enough. It's just they're not separated petals. How you doing, Pixie? Where'd she go? Prisithia? Oh, yeah, she's taking it. Prisithia's busy. Oh, hey, I'm, Victoria, I'm we see you. Thank you. I'm watching you guys and listening, multitasking. I do I'm it glad all the to time. see each of you. I really am. It's wonderful to see all of you. I actually got to see Terry in person last week. I hear she was out walking. I'm no, I, I saw her in the building. I was at Claremont Crest and I saw her in the oh, building. Oh, that's right. You said Claremont Crest. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and I was explaining to Jillian, Victoria, that I just wasn't feeling good last week, but I feel great today. Oh, good. Yeah. And, you know, we'll be there tomorrow because the band Hootenanny's going to perform for you guys tomorrow. At I saw Crest. that. Are they going to do it out on the deck or something? Uh, I you know, not my call, honey. I don't know what they're going to do. 
Yeah, yeah, I just know they're they're gonna be Maybe there. they're going to put it in the uh, activity room. I think they may, but I told John I'd be there, so. Yeah, that sounds like fun. That'll be fun. It'll be good for you guys. You deserve something to lift your spirits, for sure. Thank you. You should, you should get a drum or something to play along with that. I mean, that's so much fun. We have um, both uh, Rise Up. I have both uh, songbooks, and so does Steve. Oh, yesterday I got him a Paul Simon songbook. That's going to be a good investment. Cute nannies are fun. I love it when other people drown me out singing. Not at Mojo's. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how, how we can get that going again. You heard the response. But... I know. Well, we'll work on it. We'll create the opportunity. He'll show up. <laughs> I just love this fold didn't cut six or something. Maybe if we get this going fast enough, we can put sepals on our uh, flowers. I've been eating peas out of my garden and I have a green tomato. Yay, good for you. I know. I ate a pea today, but that really was the only thing. Yeah, it was. Um, we have uh, sugar snap peas. Of course, I think some of them are snow peas. They seem a little flatter, but they're both very tasty. Very. Eat, eat them raw. Oh, yeah. What planet are we on that Jillian is talking about gardening? <laughs> I know. I'm almost domesticated. <laughs> I'm very concerned. <laughs> uh, you should be. It's, you know, um, what can we say about the multiple personalities? <laughs> Life is a process. You know, you move through it and things come and go. And and, and, and you learn new, new tricks. And as you learn new things, you grow dendrites. Yes. It's good for your brain. Yes, Just enjoy. Really your neuroplasticity is improved. Wow, that's a big, <laughs> that's a cool word, isn't it? <laughs> very, like I'm that. really impressed. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you. Okay, everybody's still cutting. I'm ready whenever you are. All right, I'm going to show you my mug rug. Oh, I love. Well, you showed uh, me that. I don't know somewhere in a texture. It something. was still, yeah, it was still on the cardboard. I might, I'm going to pull these strings in, but that's part of my demo. And well, that's, I want to do one of those. That, that's Thursday. And then, and it took me a week. And then Friday, good old macrame. Yep. You're gonna can, we make, uh, can we make pot hangers? Uh, yeah. I was just going to um, um, go over the basic knots. Good idea. On Friday. Yeah. And then we'll talk about making a hanging planter. Oh, please don't ask me to do that owl thing. <laughs> do you remember the owl? No, I don't remember. <laughs> the macrame owl with the rings for eyes. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just do a hanger, plain basic. <laughs> okay. What what time is that Friday? Eight at one o'clock. For macrame and Thursday at one o'clock for weaving. Okay, so I've got four of these little guys. Come on, don't tear when I unfold you. Gentle, gentle, gentle. There we go. I love you, ladies. I wish there were more of you, but I love you. So.
what are you doing now? I'm just snipping. A couple of them didn't snip okay. all the way, so. They all have okay. to be the same amount snipped in? To, to within about a half inch from the inside. Okay. So I'm layering mine. I'm putting the, on one of them, Are you, you're frozen. Julian, if you can hear, you're frozen. I don't know. Oh, this is awful. Just right when it came, right, right before it, time to put it together, right? Right. What makes that happen, do you think? Bad connection. Yeah, it does it to me once in a while too. She just she needs to turn it off and turn it back on. Um, yeah. I think they're done blowing. I don't think I hear anymore, so I'm gonna unmute so I can yeah. laugh. Yeah, sure. I don't hear anything. I like to laugh at her jokes. <laughs> she went out. Maybe she's gonna come back. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and she told us that she was getting those messages that said her um, internet connection was slow today, so... Yeah. Maybe two weeks on this. <laughs> she'll, she'll be back. Maybe, maybe someday you'll learn to make a rose, Betty. Yes, I got everything <laughs> ready. I think I'm caught up. <laughs> I think we're. I think we're. Aren't we supposed to curl these petals? I know yeah. that's where I went wrong the last time. The inner one was not right. There we go. Oh, finally. Okay. There she is. We're worrying about you, Jillian. I have no idea. Oh, great. Okay, whatever. All right. At least you've got one image. Okay. There we are. Now I switch places. Okay, I don't care. So, our next step is to... <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, come here. To um, fold in the petals like this. Okay, I've got them all stacked up and we're folding them in. And it makes this hexagonal base in the bottom of the flower. Okay. What size should that be? How? What's the what's the width of that hexagonal? It's just at the base of the petal, so I don't know. Maybe it's an inch. Maybe I thought we cut down a half an inch. Yeah, on each side. Yeah. Okay. So theoretically, an inch. Yeah. That be. I mean, I'm going with theory, right? Yeah, it's an inch. Okay. Now. I'm just taking, uh, I don't know, this might be a skewer. Um, or you can use a chopstick or an old paintbrush. And I'm rolling these up. Separately or all together? Um, separately. I mean, I could try stacking them. I just hadn't done that yet. Let me try stacking. They don't really seem to line up perfectly. But yeah, let's go ahead and try that. See how it works. 
So you're rolling them on the edges, right? I mean, across. in the center. In the center. Yeah. Oh. All right, Helen. Yeah. Up. Sure. Did it work? In yeah. the center one way, but you don't you don't take the tool out and do it in the cross other way, do you? Yeah. You, I did. Oh, you do it both. Okay. Doing it in three directions. Okay. Across, across each petal. Oh, okay. I got you. You can roll three at a time. Yeah. So now you play. Wow, that'll wake you up in the morning. A little. Um, so put your glue. <clears throat> um, can we finish rolling first? Yeah. Give, yes, ma'am. Give us a minute. I don't want to miss anything. I know. Yeah, I'm still rolling too. Well, we're being archived, aren't we, Victoria? Yeah, I'm I sure we assume are. so. Well, last time we never got it on the archives, so I don't want to miss yeah. it. But yesterday I checked the archives for what y'all did last week, and it was on there. Oh. With the tissue paper, you know, that you had painted with yeah, the bleach. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm glad. Okay. So maybe it's updated. I'm ready. Well, some things load easier than others, particularly uh, I know in the beginning, and see, Valerie has to, and it's a lot of work for her. Yeah. She's got to keep, keep that online page cleaned up so there's room for everybody. Think about all the classes we have. Right. So she's got to keep all that cleaned up to make room for you guys, too. That's a lot, isn't it? Julian, do it again. I'm ready to glue. Okay. So I'm putting the glue on the outside uh, corner, on the outside edge of each, I should be using a color glue, of each petal. Okay. Okay, on the, just on the, like, you know, just on one edge. One edge, okay. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap, and I want, I have discovered that a center one tight that it comes out better so you just really they're going to hug each other really tightly Lots of I'm trying to remember we're doing one little petal at a time with the glue one little two, petal two, two, what'd you say two I'm, I'm, I mean we're going to um, wrap, okay, so we're wrapping, we're curling it. Whoops, getting glue on myself. We're curling it up. Oh, you're attaching it to the one next to it. Okay. Opposite. Opposite. And it's, Opposite. It's, See, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Julian, okay. is it the two glued sides that go together? Or the yes. uh, okay, so they overlap. I know, but do you want the you you want the you don't want the two glued sides to go together, you want the glued side to go with the outside of the opposite one. Yeah, yeah. So they okay, and then the next one is gonna do the same thing. Okay. Okay. You're gonna take a glue side and put it on the outside of the opposite one. The outside of the opposite one, exactly. Got it. Yeah. And let's okay. center really tight. How are you getting it that tight? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, that's what the curling was about. And then you just hold it gently. And you pray to the glue gods. Right, Helen? Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm trying the glue dots today. Oh, good. 
But they're they're kind of clumsy too. Hmm. Maybe rubber bands would work better. <laughs> you know, we'll teach I this rose a lesson, won't we? But I think that if you just use a little bit of glue, this glue, I promise you, this stuff is from the dollar store. Okay, it's not my favorite, but obviously the reason I bought it was because it has this nozzle and it's clear. Um, it feels kind of like rubber cement. A snozzle, huh? It has a snozzle, yeah. Well, Jillian, I got the first one. Now the next pair, do they connect to the first one? Yeah, they're just gonna wrap around the first pair, the first pair. Okay. So it's all, it's like a big hug fest. Everything's right up around each other. And try to make it tight. So this pattern is going to continue. But on the next one, we're going to put the glue a little bit lower down. I'm going to put the glue on the edge of the petal. So can you see where I'm putting it? Mm -hmm. It's right about like here. Okay. Like right at the edge. And you really just need a film of glue. Just, I find that with paper, less is more. Whoops. Okay, I forgot a, a put glue in the middle. And then we're gonna overlap these. Like this. It's like they're doing a dance and they're putting one arm around each other. I'm very touchy feely on this rose. I usually would. Okay. Or Cynthia, did you get that email I sent you? Yes, yes, thank you very much. I haven't I haven't looked at those links yet, but that, That's okay. that looks yeah, good, just, so thank you. Yeah, okay. So this is like a little bug. So the next layer, the third one, we add a step. We're going to curl the outside. So you can use, you know, um, a little paintbrush, a chopstick, a skewer. That works clean these at an at the angle. Oh, there you go. Can you see that?
I wonder where Percy's picture is. She looks like she's in a canyon or out west somewhere. We put the glue in the same uh, part of the petal for the third one. Oh yeah, you're gonna put it a little lower down. I would put it. I would put it a little towards the center. Towards the what? A lower down on the petal. I would put it more in the center, like right here. Okay. Not the center, but closer to the base. Got it. I'm okay. thinking there's an advantage to gluing the base through. Yeah. Keeps it from shifting around. Yeah. I forgot to do that on the second one. So many steps. I think it's not that big to do. Okay. okay. So I got that one curled. And you're going to curl the last one, too. So I put the glue just on one side near the bottom of each petal. And we're going to wrap that one around. Same concept. And it's just, you just hold it lightly at the bottom. There you go. Okay. One alligator, two alligators, three alligators, four alligators, five alligators, six alligators, seven alligators. Eight alligators, nine alligators, whatever. Okay. They're not exactly lining up perfectly, but that's okay. They don't major, do they? No. That's my line I'm sticking to. It. Okay, call in the last one. Hey, Helen, you're out of bed. Yes, I decided folding paper was easier at a table. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you're still supposed to bring them up opposite each other, right? Rather than going in the round. Well are going on the third and fourth rows. We're going in the round. Going in the round, okay. And they're overlapping each other. Okay, okay. Good. That's easy. Um, yeah. Um. 
Do we still want to keep doing flowers next week? Have you got another idea? Um, kind of some book ideas. Um, some what? Jillian, what did you say? Books. Books. And then I'm also thinking, I'll have to see how it works. I'm going to try making a basket, a paper basket. That would be okay. Cool. So I put the glue near the bottom of the petals. And I'm going to wrap them around. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Just hold it. Oh. Lovely. Oh, cool. Thanks. Uh oh. No. Oh no. Can you guys still see me? Yeah. Yep. Yes. That's good because I just lost you. And That's a really pretty rose. Thanks. I have no idea where I am now. Let's see if I can. Well, that makes two of us. Well, <laughs> my Zoom thing. Oh no. Okay, maybe it's not good at history. Well, we can see everything fine. Well, that's good. Yeah, we see you in one screen and your beautiful rose in another screen. I cannot see. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Oh, stupid internet's got me wonky today. Okay. So we want to, so I'm thinking if you want to make a sepal for the bottom, We can do the same effect, but make it into a leaf instead of a petal. Are you following my clip? Yep. I'm still trying to sculpt my edges. I, it looks more like a rose bud, see? Some will be tighter than others. Yeah. I know. Well, this one came out okay, but the last one, it looks like it's going to drop a couple. And, uh, you know, that's okay. So I think if I were to take this and then cut it like a leaf, This could be a sepal. Get the idea? Yep. Working on it now. Great. Pick it up and all. I am. I'm doing my best. I love that about you. I can't wait to see you people in person. So you're just cutting it to with points instead of the rounded. Yeah. I think I think I'm gonna put a little pearl on the outside. So I'm curling it up and out. That's what fun.
Oh, I should have done the folder in the little thing. But that does make the middle a flat. Lines it up a little better. Okay. So um, the weaving is a great scrap buster if you just bring in different scraps of yarn. I've got uh, them. And I bet you do. And then, um, you know, string or something. Oh, wow. That's super, really. What do you think? I think that really gave it a whole other dimension. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, let's keep doing that. Turn it over so I can see the bottom where the green is. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Could have made them more central. Get all the technical. Of course, I have no idea what the simple for rose really looks like. I'm sure it's not this big. But. And I like how my lines came out. It's like a different variation, a hybrid. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Betty? Oh, oh nice. Betty. Much better than last time. Not perfect. My heart be still. Thank you for redoing it. No problem, Precipia. Yeah, um, mine up. is mine is still a little lopsided, which was. I lopsided. think lopsided <laughs> works. If Mother Nature is not all, you know, perfection. Well, we call it organic, not lopsided. How about you, Terry? Well, I'm getting there, but it's it's not been easy. I don't know. I, I still don't have origami paper, so I'm still using construction. Whoops. Well, it, it's easier in a lighter way. Yeah. I mean, I'm done? still working on it. I still got one more to put on there. Can but you I mean, it's it getting there slowly but surely. It's just not all glued yet, but it's getting there. Can you get some origami paper? Maybe go to my... Yes. I was checking out Joanne's in my area. They have it. I bet they do. Yeah, oh. they do. I looked online this morning. So yeah, origami okay. is just easier because I guess it's thinner. It is. Yeah. You can, you can use gift wrap too. Gift yeah. wrap is a better way, I think. I agree with Helen. The gift wrap paper is a better way. So while you're there, get some tissue paper, Terry. Yeah. Yeah. I, I always get tissue at the dollar store. They have plenty of tissue. Yeah, but we want colors. Oh, yeah, I know what you're saying. Pretty colors. Yeah. And um, crepe paper. Well, I decided to really do up the green part. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. wow. Oh, that's pretty. I love it. I love it. That's so much fun. What kind of paper are you using? Hey. Yeah. It's just some cheap... Uh, this stuff. Okay. Amazon, Amazon yeah. pack. But it's bigger. It's not six by six. It's, no, it's six by six. It is? Oh, okay. God, I love it. Six by six. So, Jillian, Jillian when you cut the sepals, mm -hmm. so I have it like. Yeah. Now, how I cut it just like I did the petals, but make them more pointed. I make it pointy. It's a make it like a pointy okay. petal. Make it leaf shaped. Okay. Well, even if a rose sepal doesn't really look like that, I think the green, the green helps. Oh, green, green makes it look better. Gorgeous. Nice. Wow. That's a pretty pink color. Beautiful. Beautiful flower. Pixie, come back. 
Showing telephone, Pepsi. Did she never make it back on when she went off? I don't know. I don't know. Huh. I would love to put this on a stem with some leaves. Yay. Every time you do it, it gets better. Yeah, that peach one is very lovely. Yeah, Persithia rocked it. Let me I see like origami paper. <laughs> Persithia, let me see yours again. I didn't see it. Pretty. Oh, lovely. Say something. Oh, that there. Can you see it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Peach. That's gorgeous. It came out a little better than the first, first one whenever we did the first one. There you go. Yeah, me too. Mine isn't all wadded up and thrown across the room like my <laughs> Right. <laughs> When all else fails. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be pretty. I, I, I pulled out some things that might make nice stems, and that's these uh, paper straws. That's great. Yeah. Candy cane. I think if you split the ends, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, somehow make a hole. I mean, it wouldn't. It wouldn't just sit on there. It wouldn't work. But no. somehow you have to. You could either fold it and into a point, and you know something will work. You, you know me. I'll find a way. Yeah, or you could split the end of the cylinder and then splay it out. Yeah, that would work yeah. very well. Yeah, that would work too. That'll give you more purchase. Yeah, and then put the sepal on over that. If you, were, I mean, if you were to do that first and then the sepal to glue that on. Yeah. Well, then you have, then you have to make holes in your sepal thing. Though. Yeah. That inquires, involves a little forethought. Yeah. Darn it. Ugh, not this time. Yeah. Okay. So you guys want another flower? Um, or you want to um, take a different something else? Right, well, I like the basket idea or flowers. From that's my vote. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Either one of those. Either one. One. We could put okay. our flowers in the basket. Yes. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness! Yes, we could. <laughs> How about a vase? Yeah, there are people. Um, well, there there are origami folds for that, but then. Um, I've seen these baskets um, that are like rolled up magazine paper. Mm -hmm. And I thought we might try that kind. I have of plenty of magazines, actually. Yeah. I don't anymore, but I mean, you know, I can get some. Yeah. When I was getting my nails done, I used to get them from the you know, that from the mail salon. Catalogs would be the same. Yeah. As long as it was that shiny uh, paper. That still shiny paper, yeah. So our bouquet is growing. Yes, it is. Our bouquet. There go. Oh, pretty. Nice, Jillian. Those look really nice. Really? On another planet. Well, we could have a basket of flowers. It'd be lovely. <laughs> yes, this this flower, whatever you want to call it, makes a lot more sense to me than the last one. It's rosy. It's rosish. Um, so tomorrow, bring cardboard, scissors. Cardboard, scissors? String, yarn. Okay, what, what time is that? One? One o'clock. And um, a, a crochet hook or um, a, do you have like a tube turner for sewing? A what? A, a tube turner or a bodkin for sew that we use in sew. What what is it again? I'm not picking up what you're saying. It's used, it's used for turning a tube. 
or a bod pin, um, like they use for printing and pins through a casing. Crochet hooks are pretty easy. Okay, y'all. I've got to start Ageless Grace. Have Thank y'all. Thank the you very much. It was fun. See you next Thank week. You. All right, bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye, bye. Thank you, Jillian. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye.